As years come and go for students of Cedar Falls High School, one student, Mackenzie Adams, faces a tougher challenge. So in July 2014, I got bronchitis and I went to just like an urgent care. What started out as a case of bronchitis soon turned into something much more dangerous as the amount of prescribed antibiotics caused problems to Mackenzie's body. And they gave me a five day antibiotic with some like cough medicine. She gave me a 10 day antibiotic like back to back and you're not supposed to do that. I had to take like the strongest antibiotic, it's like vancomycin. And I was just like taking the medicine, like they kept upping the dose. All of the side effects from the medicine like made my stomach hurt and like some of my hair like fell out and I just didn't feel good. The antibiotics killed off Mackenzie's good bacteria as well, leading to a case of C. diff. And the first two days of school last year I missed because I was in the hospital. Again, because it kept coming back, it'd, be, it'd go away for like three days at the most. After a fecal transplant from her mother, Mackenzie was healed. Sort of. I still have like stomach aches. Mm -hmm. Like I know what they feel like, like because there's like certain pains, but I haven't had the C. diff back. Second semester, I started out with eight classes, like my schedule was full. By March, they took me out of all my classes and they put me in the online classes. So I was there, like I just do like one class at a time for like three hours. Summer school wasn't the only thing lying in store for Mackenzie over break. During the summer, my friend and I, like, we started, like, making jewelry and selling it online and stuff. Kind of looked up some stuff online and we tried to see if we could make it ourselves. And we did, so whenever we hung out, we were just kind of trying new things. At first we, like, failed, like, horribly. Yeah. <laughs> it was awful. And then, like, we watched some, like, YouTube videos on how people, like, did it, and then we got a lot better. <laughs> now, I had my cat, and that sounds, like, really weird. <laughs> but she, like, I wasn't really, like, that close to her. Like, we didn't, like, I didn't, she didn't come around much. But then, like, once I was home so much, she got really attached to me. And, like, we hung out, like, all the time. <laughs> yeah. This horrible experience soon led Mackenzie to be one of the hardest workers in the school. I could have like pulled out of school and just stayed home, but I really didn't want to do that. I like do a lot of art, like I'm in ceramics, like I've been done independent study and I paint. I think a lot of that had to do with her wanting to, to get back into art and uh, I mean we worked with her getting her back into to classes and then there's a couple days you know she'd miss and she was really intrinsically motivated and just getting her the tools to be able to, to jump back in. I mean it, it's a lot on her. Um, I've always wanted to, like, make, like, sculpture stuff out of clay, because, like, in ceramics, you just do, like, bowls and, like, things that you, like, that you can use. So, since I'm an independent study, I was just like, I want to make a person. So, I started out with, like, a big block of clay, and I just kind of, like, shaped it and took clay away. I didn't know if I wanted it to be, like, standing up or what, but after I got, like, the belly part, I thought, like, she could be sitting down, like, holding it. And I didn't want it to be like really detailed, I wanted it to be like really just like plain and like smooth. So that's why it doesn't have a head or like fingers or toes and stuff like that. Just as Mackenzie finishes her sculpture with finesse, she is ready to start college with the worst behind her. This has been Jay Namjadi reporting for the Tiger Highline.